In comparing the situation in the US with the UK, most people recognise that you couldn't just uh, uproot the UK system of evaluation and decision making and bring it to the US. But I think there are some lessons we can learn from NICE's 12 or 13 years experience so far. I think uh, one area would be in the analytical methods used. Uh, we don't need to fund a new long-term randomised controlled trial of everything, we can use synthesis of the existing information uh, to help us reach a decision. So I think that's something we can learn uh, from the, the, the British experience. I think another thing we can learn is that these decisions are very difficult, they raise all kinds of political antibodies, so broad stakeholder involvement and transparency are very important. And I think the, the, the methods used to assess uh, cost effectiveness need to have a lot of integrity and independence. So I, I think that's something else that I think you can learn from the UK experience. And finally, um, is the link between whatever information is generated and the decision that's, that's finally made. Within the UK, it's fairly clear because you have a, a national health service with a single payer, uh, you can look at the evidence and reach a decision. Well, in the US, of course, it's much more complicated. So uh, it's a little bit harder to figure out how the comparative effectiveness research will influence decisions within particular health plans and decisions between patients and their physicians. I mean, my sense is in your system, probably value, value will be linked to the level of copay. So we, we're seeing a lot of formularies now, uh, tiered formularies designed based on value for money. So my sense is that everything's going to be available uh, and the level of copay is going to somehow relate to the quality of the uh, comparative effectiveness evidence.